The following podcast is taken from a live broadcast on Inspire FM. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the Arise to Success show. I'm your host in this show. My name is Jihad. Just a bit of a recap of the idea behind this show, that we invite inspiring guests to share their stories and their journeys to success, what they do and how they've achieved it. In my personal work specializing in personality traits, I analyze individuals' personalities using the model of the Prophet Muhammad and I use examples of the Sahabas or the companions, as well as the Prophet's wives, who hold the same personalities as the individual in order to serve as their role models. And in this show, I want to bring current role models who have inspiring stories to share with us and their journeys behind their success, so this can be an inspiration to all of us, inshallah. Throughout this show, dear listeners, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send those in 0779481822. So this brings me to introduce my guest today, who's joining us all the way from Turkey, and in fact is the first male guest we have on the show. So this show is not just for females, although we've been having females throughout the show so far. I just happen to know more females than males. But this show, inshallah, will have a mixture of males, females, and their young people as well to inspire all Muslims. So our guest tonight is Brother Hakan, who owns a tourism business in Istanbul, where he runs tours for Sahabas or the Prophet's companions, as well as Ertugul tours. I have personally done the Sahaba tour with Brother Hakan, and it was the highlight of my trip when I was in Turkey. And this fits in actually really well with the personality work that I do relating to the Sahabas, as mentioned earlier. So alhamdulillah, that trip was just exactly what I needed and it fit, it fit in really well alhamdulillah and I've learned a lot about the Sahabas um, in the tour. I however missed the Ertugal tour and being an Ertugal fan myself that has been a big loss but inshallah that will be um, for me to be doing in my next trip in Turkey inshallah. So brother Hakan thank you for being here with us today and I know that it's a bit late in Turkey so I appreciate you accepting the invite and being here with us. How are you doing today? I hope you're not too tired. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Can you hear me? Alaikum salam. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, thank, thanks for having me. Yes, it is 8 o'clock in Istanbul right now. Okay, so alhamdulillah, not too late. The weather is lovely. Weather is lovely. So you got some sunshine there, yeah? Yes, it is, yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> In the UK, we had it uh, quite actually warm last uh, last week, which I loved it, to be honest. Was it last week or the week before? I think it was the week before. It was really nice and warm. I know it's a bit too hot for some people, but I was just waiting for that weather. This week, well, alhamdulillah, it's okay. A bit rainy, but alhamdulillah, not too bad. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Nice to hear. Yes. Uh, so, Brother Hakan, um, tell us more about you and what you do. Uh, okay. Um my name is Hakan Hacıbekiroğlu. It is difficult to say my surname, actually, you know. Yes. And I have been working in a travel agency in Sultan Ahmed, uh, Istanbul, since 2001. It's a long time, actually. And it has always been my dream to work in a tourism business. And I organize tours, guests from the abroad, city tours, mostly religious tours. You know, the other tours like Sultan Ahmed tour, Bosphorus tour, rental car, Dervish organization. It's a Sorry, travel Hakan. agency. We do everything, you know, that Sorry, I can tell you. Do you mind just speaking a little bit up? We can hear you, but it's just if you speak a bit louder, please. Can you hear me better now? Much better, yes. Okay, sounds good. Mm-hmm. So, should I repeat again or? No, no, just continue from where you start. It's fine. Okay. So as I told you, you know, as a travel agency, we do mostly Islamic tours, which you did with me, actually, in the Sahaba tour. This is the highlight tour in our company, and we love to do it, and we love to share our stories with our guests all over the world, especially from the UK, because most people are coming from the UK. Mm. Of course, they are coming from Australia, America, some of them Europe, and... Alhamdulillah, it's good, you know, business is all right. 
Alhamdulillah. And I'm, in fact, mashallah, you know, Turkey is one of the places I know a lot of people here in the UK go to. And it's been like, I think for about a year or so, every time somebody goes on holiday, I'm like, well, most of people actually when I ask them where you go, it's like, oh, Turkey. So it has been quite a, a, um, a, a place, mashallah, where a lot of people go to. So mashallah, with that show, um, if anybody's not aware of the Sahaba store or the article tours that you do and, and, you know, all the tours that you're doing, inshallah, they can become aware of it um, so that we can learn more about our religion which is very important uh, to be honest you know most people they don't know the mm. how rich culture you know as an islamic culture in istanbul and in my country you know so mm. most of the people they just know blue mosque top mm. palace right now Hagia sophia because it turns to the masjid again mm. and eba you balance the most important companions of our prophet Muhammad, but we have more and mm. they have been here long time ago, which is like seventh century. That's mm. why that's why that was the whole point. We want to take the people, those places, try to get blessed from them, you know? Because those are the people very important characters mm. in our lifetime. Absolutely. And inshallah, you get the reward of all that amazing work that you inshallah, do. Inshallah. Amen. Inshallah. Inshallah. So perhaps if you can also tell us, for example, some of the Sahabas, you know, that you, um, or the, in the Sahaba tour, some of the stories behind the Sahabas, because I know when you told us about the stories and each story has been so special. And because I, my work is relating to a lot, you know, I do a lot of work relating to the Sahabas, and I give examples of the Sahabas to be our role models. I found this really beneficial and really inspiring. So could you give us perhaps a little bit of something, an example or two about some of the Sahabas that we visit during the um, Sahaba tour? Yeah, of course I can. You know, everything's starting with our my teacher, actually, who mm -hmm. passed away two years ago. Rest in mm -hmm. peace, inshallah. Uh, Dervish Baba, we call him Dervish Baba. Mm -hmm. I had a Dervish master. We first started doing sahabatus with him. He used to tell me the stories in Turkish, and I used to translate them into English as much as I could, you know? Mm. I didn't know the story of the sahabis. Every time Dervish Baba, Dervish Father, you know, would tell me this, all the stories, I would go back and feel that moment if I was living that time, you know? And I can tell you one thing, for example, it just came my mind. In the seventh century, the exact time is like 643, the, during the time of Caliph Umar, uh, the companies wanted to go to a city called Constantinople or Constantinopolis back in that time mm. and to explore the city because they wanted to go as a, like a, only 300 people, mm. as a volunteers, of course. And Caliph Umar was a very clever man, and he had an idea. Before he sent them, like, he cut seven camels. Mm. And all the meat goes to, like, a poor people, like Sadaka, because they are going to traveling. But from the skin of the camels, he made, like, a one meter each, and he gives everyone who are going to the city of Constantinople. Mm. And obviously, Sahabi people didn't understand why he is giving the skin of the camels. And he said that I was talking with our Prophet Muhammad and he mentioned to me that some of the Sahabi people will go to the city of Constantinople and some of them will be shahid, like a martyr, you know, mm. in the city of Constantinople. Because of this subject, he said that I give you the skin of the camels, write your name, write your father's name, where do you come from, and on the right side of the corner you will write my name that people notice which century mm. you arrived to the city of Constantinople because obviously they are going to discover the bodies later than later than means which is 15th century this is but another subject if you would like to talk I can give you the more information about this one mm. but like I said to you this is the one it just came my mind right now mm. And while you're saying it, I actually remember when you were giving us the tour and remember exactly where you're sitting and you were describing us this story. So it's all coming back. I know, I know. Yes, yeah, so it was amazing. But I can, I can tell you, I can be sure about this one. Each time when we go to the Sahaba visiting, it's like a everyday 
fresh meal that I can tell you because I, we do also other tours like Sultan Ahmed tour, Princess Island, Bosporus tour. You are not getting the same feeling what we are getting from the Sahaba tour, mm. which makes special mm. to me and for the other people. Because I have some people, they came with me twice, three times, four times. They have said, Hakan, without you, we don't want to go. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> so, Alhamdulillah, this is like a blessing for me. So I love to do it. That's mm. why when the people are saying, do you love your work or do you like your work? I told them I love my work because like and love is totally different thing. Yeah. Amazing. And you made a really good point there where you said that it's a different feeling each time. So it's making me wonder the fact that you repeat the same thing again and again and I'm relating it, subhanAllah, to, for example, when we pray, we read Surah Al-Fatiha again and again and again in our five daily prayers and that's just the fard, you know, let alone the um, the sunnahs. And although we repeat it again and again, we don't get bored of it, mashallah. So that's the blessing. Of Definitely, Definitely, 100%, you know, 100%. Yeah, and the blessing with the work that you do, although you're repeating the same thing in each of your tours. So even for you, it has a different feeling each time? Uh, each time I get same and sometimes different feeling as well, you know, because it, it depends the person who is with me, you know. If mm. they are not that interesting in, I'm not jumping to the subject. You understand mm. my point? Mm. Some people, they're like, okay, we just make it pray, that's it, go. Or some people, they are hunger to listen mm. and more and more and more. So mm. it depends to people who are coming with me. Like mm. you, you love it. You wanted to hear more. So yeah. <laughs> now we, here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that, that's what brought us as well to have that radio show. It's like, subhanAllah, you you know, I loved it. Thank you and much, I want yeah. others to benefit from that as well. So you kind of, that's what I've noticed that you do. And that's what you mentioned that you do as well. You kind of give like a little bit of brief information and depending on, depends on the interest of the people in front of you. And if they exactly. are interested, you go in depth and you tell them more and more, which alhamdulillah, we were blessed to have having, you know, that, in depth, um, and alhamdulillah, we were lucky. We, it was only my friend and myself, alhamdulillah. So it felt like you, a proper you, private tour there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to tell you that one that that day you got so lucky. It was like a private tour for you. Yeah. yeah. And if you remember, it was my birthday as well. You know. <laughs> yes, exactly. And subhanallah, doing this in your birthday, inshallah. Yeah, exactly. You see, in my birthday, I was doing this visit of the Sahabis, which I can ask more. You know. <laughs> Yeah, subhanAllah. So it shows how much you're passionate about this, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. So that's, that's amazing, mashallah. And you also do do other tours as well, including Ertugal Tours, um, Osman TV series, I believe. So could you tell us more about those and if there is any, any other work that you do as well? Yeah, Ertugal Tour, you know. Sorry, Hakan. Um, if you don't mind, if you can speak up a little bit. And just before you do that, sorry, I cut you off there. I'm just going to remind okay. the listeners, just in case anybody joined us a bit later, I'm just going to quickly remind the listeners that we have Brother Hakan on the show today, who is an owner of a tourism business in Istanbul, in Turkey, specializing in Sahaba and Ertugal Tours and other tours as well. So if you have any questions or comments, or if you have any specific questions about the tours or any questions to Brother Hakan, please feel free to send those on 0779 so sorry, Hakan, I cut you um, off there. So yeah, go ahead. No worries. No worries. You know, Ertuğrul tour. How I started because as I as I do the Sahaba tour, many people, you know, they were coming, mm. and we were doing the Sahaba tour with them. They were like, "Oh, there is a wonderful TV series. Have you watched it? You know, there is a TV series called Ertuğrul because mm. right now was fun, but that time it was Ertuğrul." I said, you know what, I haven't watched yet, but I want to do something for the people who are so interesting about this subject. So with this subject, I started to do the Ertuğrul tour, you know. First mm. of all, I I went myself, you know, mm. to just wander around. I went to Söğüt, Bilecik, and back in that time we were going Inegöl, where the Turgut, you know, the buried there, mm. then Bursa. And I was thinking that, you know what, it's not going to be finished in a one day because it's a long day. So mm. I will tell you in a mile, so you are going to understand, without the Turgut Alp right now, it is 450 miles we are driving in a same day. That's why we start to do like 6.30 a.m. in the morning, Istanbul time. Mm. 
after we driving like three hours, we go to our first place, which is like breakfast, the important day of the meal, near the Sakari River. Mm-hmm. After that, we are driving like 45 minutes to go to the first point, which is called Bilecik. Mm-hmm. In Bilecik, what there is over, what there are over there, the Ottoman History Museum is a wonderful place that we give the explanation of the, all the sultans from the first one till the last one. Mm-hmm. As you know, that the first one is the Osman, and the last one is called Wahdettin. So we give the I can tell you like each sultan's information like two three minutes. Mm. It takes like one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. It depends again the people, how they want to listen more. And then we go to the visit the Orhan Gazi Mosque from 1332. Can you believe it? 1332. Mm. This mosque is still standing there. This is the first biggest mosque in Ottoman time. And Orhan is the, Orhan is the son of the Osman. And he is the second sultan in the Ottoman history. Then we go to visit the Balahatun, wife of Osman, and then Sheh Edebalı. I'm sure you heard his name before, Sheh Edebalı, who was the mentor of the Osman Gazi. Then he got married to the daughter of the Sheh Edebalı, which is called Balahatun. Mm. So we see that place. And Bilecik is very important in the history of the Ottoman Empire because Bilecik, the small mm. town, where only like 40,000 people are living there, it was the first capital of the Ottoman Empire, but unofficial. Right. Then, uh, Söğüt, we go to Söğüt for the visit of the Ertuğrul Gazi, Halimatun, Dündar Bey, his brother, and his son, and other Alps. There's a beautiful, you know, the place mm. for place for them we go to visit and try to make the you know pray for them as well because this is the gentleman who started everything yeah. for the Ottoman Empire yeah. then of course we have a lunch after lunch we drive to Bursa which is like two hours away from Earth. In Bursa, what we are doing we go to visit the Orhan Gazi and Osman Gazi shrines we see the view of the Bursa. There's a place called Tophane. It's a beautiful place. Bursa is a lovely city. And if you haven't been there, I definitely recommend you to go to that place, which is oh, very beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I've been to it's it. beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, is it? yeah. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. So when I told you like this in a summarize, it looks like, okay, we did like in a one hour two hours it's not like that because only driving from istanbul to the you know suit it takes four hours then coming from bursa to istanbul again like three hours so whole tour from 6 30 a.m sometimes finishing 9 sometimes finishing 10 p.m yeah. so when we go to the air tour, tour i always tell the people are you ready <laughs> because people think that it is just on the corner for we go to the z- visit of the Ertuğrul Gazi. It is not. Uh, my mm-hmm. country is very big, especially. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, we are calling Turkey and no more Turkey, you know. So yeah, it's I'm very trying big. to pronounce it like this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a habit. It's a habit. Yeah. Even I am. I, even I am saying also the same thing, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for the Osman TV series. Mm. Uh, Osman TV set has been opened just like recently, I can tell you. Mm-hmm. Local and foreigner guests can visit right now. It's open every day of the week from 10.30 a.m. till 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. So for this organization, what I did is, you know, I did three packages. Mm-hmm. One, is only, one, is only, one is only like a ticket. You, ju- you just go by yourself. The second one is like a group Osman mm-hmm. TV set, but I only do like a, on weekends. And the mm-hmm. third one is special organization, which is like private. You can do anytime you like. So most of the details, if it is possible, I can give it on my website so people can check from there. 
Yeah, please do, because just in case I forget to do so in the end. So, yeah, please feel free to do my, so. My, my website, the main website, is it's called istanbullife.org, like organization. This is the main one. But for the Ertuğrul Gazi and the Osman TV set, they have opened another website, which is called ErtuğrulGaziTours.com. Mm. Okay, uh, so the main... Over there, on, online, online shopping you can do as well. There's a, there's a possibility for the online shopping as well. So the main website, is that a different... So the Ertuğrul Tours are specific to a different website, and the main website mm -hmm. is for the other tours? No, in, in main website, you can find whatever you like. Okay. Like Istanbul tours, Ertuğrul tours, Islamic tours, Cappadocia tours, Pamukkale, Ephesus, Derviş ticket. I don't know, so many on. So it continues like this. Even football match tickets. Mm. As a and company, do you do? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. You know, in my company, we have some people, you know, we are, we are like almost 10 people mm. who are working in the office. But as a, like a, other people... If we need more people, we can call and they can come to help us, so, right. which is flexible that I can tell you. No, that's great. Thank you for the detailed description. I'm just again going to, quickly, <clears throat> going to quickly remind the our dear listeners, just in case anybody joined us a bit later. But we have Brother Hakan on the show today from Turkey, who is the owner of a tourism business specializing in Sahabas and Ertigal tours and the other uh, tours that uh, Brother Hakan just mentioned. So, dear listeners, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to send them an ultra seven nine four eight one eight double two. And I'm sure there are a lot of Ertigal fans out there. So, if you have any questions please do feel free to send those um right away so brother hakan with the ertigal tours that you just mentioned and in fact he said that you know i, I would assume it's only going to take a few hours in fact when you were talking i was thinking wow that that probably takes more than an hour <laughs> I, mean, I mean more than a day so do you only do it for one day or do you do, for example, a few days? Because when I was browsing the website before I, other websites, um, before I, I come to Turkey, I found that some of the tours are for a few days, some of them for like a week. How does that work? Do you do the same or, or is yours just a day, do you think? Yeah, to be honest, I try to do like a two days, mm. two days package, you know, for the air tour, tour. But I try to think about the people as well, because before you come, you do your flight tickets booking, right? Hotel mm. booking, things. So when I try to do in a two days for the air travel tour, and people start to say to me, Hakan, look, we have a hotel booking already. And mm. we are going to do the another hotel booking as well. So why we are paying, why we are investing our money. So I try to, you know, do, do the, in a one day package. That's mm. why we start to do very early in the morning. Six yeah. 6 a.m., 6.30. If it is a private, you know, some, some people, they want private, you know, so privacy. So uh, we can start a little bit late. Like late means again 7.30, maximum mm. 8 o'clock. But mm. the group one, because we have more than one hotels, mm -hmm. so we have to go pick them up, go to hotel, you know, and mm. then some of the hotels, like, a little bit far away, some of them are very far away, so we have to try to do this you know yeah. in the easy, easiest way for everyone and mm -hmm. some people they have babies yeah and this is another also small problem but good problem you know so because <laughs> one of one of my customer yeah and he was he was only three months he oh. came with me for the air filter and he slept all the way which was lovely you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Bless it, it shows the lovely, yeah. how passionate the parents see, are. Three months only, three months. Yeah. Oh, bless, mashallah. And with the um, with the t uh, what they call the Islam TV series, I think that you do. How do? Because I've seen a few live um, Instagram streams that you have, and some of the actors actually come in, right? Yes, they are coming. Yeah, but yeah. weekend only weekend times. Right, so that's at the group tours. So I can tell you this one as a small summarize for you. What they do when you go there is a fascinating place. I'm, I can tell you whatever you see on TV, you will see them as a real, and you will be still shocked. Yeah. Am I inside the Am I inside the movies? What's going on here? You got a little bit confused, but also happy. 
when we go to the, the you know the Osman TV set, you will see the Osman tent, you will see the Inegel castle, you will see the Kulujehisar castle. All of them are real. You see them, and every day uh, during the weekdays they have a show. Mm. Show means they do it at 4 p.m. So mm. what they do is a small theater, like 15 minutes. And what they do is Alps, you know, the soldiers mm. and the Mongols, they're like a little bit fighting. Mm. First of all, Alps lost the war. Then Osman, not the real one, of course, the fake one, is mm. coming to rescue them, you know. So when they're coming, when they're coming... And then Great, it, Brother Hatan. Yeah, yeah. Let's stop at an in- interesting point so the dear listeners can stay tuned with us after the break because we're going to go for a break shortly. Okay, so I'll leave no it worries. at something interesting point so that the, our dear listeners stay tuned. So, okay. um, our good. dear listeners, thank you. We have Brother Hakan on the show today. He's the owner of a tourism business in, in, in Istanbul, specializing in Sahaba and Ertigal tours. So, we were just talking about the tours that um, uh, Brother Hakan does in Istanbul. And inshallah, after the break, we'll continue talking about the Osman series and more about also uh, Brother Hakan's story of what motivated him to start that, inshallah. So, this is Inspire FM Luton on our 5.1. We'll go for a short break and we will see you in a few minutes. So stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum. This is Atif Nawaz. Listen to Inspire FM shows in your time by heading over to inspirefm.org or listen on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. <laughs> Istanbul in Turkey, specializing in Sahaba and Ertigal tours and other tours as well. If you have any questions or comments throughout the show, please feel free to send those on 0779-481822. So, Brother Hakan, before the break, we were talking about all the amazing work that you do, mashallah, including the Sahaba tours, Ertigal tours, as well as Osman series. And we stopped at a really interesting point where you were talking about the Osman series. So, please go yes, ahead, Osman. Osman. Osman TV said, yeah, I was telling that time, you know, every day they do like a show, theater show, like 4 p.m. Istanbul Mm -hmm. time. It's like 15, 20 minutes, but it's fascinating. People love it. Everybody wants to take a picture. Everybody wants to do the videos, share on the social media and everything. So the point is, I just want, I don't want to give like, all the details, you know, (laughs) but what they do is, you know, Alps are coming and they are fighting with the Mongols, like what you see on the TV series. And then they lost. And then Osman is coming to rescue them. Then they show the, their flag and Mm. they always say, Allahu Akbar, which Mm. is very nice, you know, and weekend time, what's happening weekend time, Saturday and Sunday, uh, the time can be changed because of the artist who who is coming, you know. Mm. It depends their schedule as well. So sometimes they do 3.30, sometimes they do 4 o'clock, sometimes they do 4.30 p.m. After the show, which I told you before, the show finish, then the the person is coming who is who used to play or who is still play in the Osman or Ertuğrul TV series. They are coming. They do the question and answer part for them later then for the signing the pictures you know they have a table you go there you take a picture with him or with her and I'm lucky because I, I met the Balahatun mm. uh, which was wonderful that day was the one of the busiest day I have seen in Osman said more than 3,000 people they were there wow. just, to, just to see the Balahatun also, she was shocked like you, you know. Yeah. Said, oh, gosh, how many people are here, you know? And yeah. then she did a little bit question and answer part. Then for the signing pictures, and people, they were waiting at least one hour, I'm telling you. Wow. And I met with Aslan Atun. Mm. Uh, yeah, Saturday, this Saturday, uh, Nicola's best friend, I forgot his name, you know. He was there also, and yesterday, Dündar Bey, Dündar mm-hmm. Bey yesterday. So it's a big surprise. They are not they are not telling the who is coming Saturday and Sunday. 
So you will be lucky. Everybody's expecting Osman, obviously. Yeah. He didn't arrive yet. So we will see how it goes. But I am telling you, who wants to go to Osman TV set, uh, you should know that weekend is the best time to go that place. Weekdays is okay, but nobody is coming. So you you just meet only some Alps, and you see the, some you know the Mongols people, and visit the plateau. And by the way, it's not my place, but I love it. Uh, this plateau is the third biggest plateau in the world. Did you know mm. this one? No. It is the third biggest plateau in the world. It's a big place, and lots of walking. And we should tell the people they can wear the, you know, the nice shoes, you know, easy shoes. Comfortable shoes, yeah. Comfortable shoes, yeah. There you go, comfortable shoes. So, but it, the place is lovely. And mm. weather is still beautiful. So, who wants to come, especially September, October, till November 15, weather will be nice in Istanbul. I can mm. tell you. Later, then, of course, when people come, it might be a little bit cold. But UK people got to, you know, they got used to love this cold weather, I can tell you, yeah. because everybody's complaining in Istanbul when they come. Oh, how can it's so hot here? What we are going to do? I tell them it's only 30 degrees, <laughs> not, not much. But we had also hot weather, like one month ago, 42 degrees. Wow. This was the first time I have seen in my lifetime also in wow. Istanbul. It was so hot, so mm-hmm. hot. The first time I actually came to Istanbul, it was, uh, I'm trying to remember the year, it was a few years ago, I think it was March, April time, and it was freezing, it was really, really cold, I thought the weather would be okay-ish, but it was really cold. And for the, for the people, I can tell you which time is the best time to come to Istanbul, you know, April, mm. May, September, October, best seasons to come to Istanbul, it's not so hot. It's not so cold, like 20 degrees. Oh, that's lovely weather. June, July, August is very expensive, very hot. Yeah. I can tell you, June, July, August, especially August. August is so hot. Mm. But the four months, which I told you, you know, April, May, mm. September, October is best time to come to Istanbul. I can tell you also around Turkey. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I came when it was really cold, and then the second time I came when it was really hot. So next yeah. time, inshallah, I need to come when the weather is nice. So you were here in June, so June was hot. Yes, exactly, exactly. Although the last day when we left, it, we had there was a storm, and it was proper raining. I wanted to have, like, you know, say my goodbye to Turkey by giving for Fajr prayer. But the storm and the rain, I was like, subhanAllah, it's not meant to be. So I was like, inshallah, when I come again, <laughs> I guess I guess Istanbul was crying for you, that's why, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, mashallah, it's a place where, subhanAllah, you it's can't a beautiful just, place, yeah, beautiful you place, have yeah. to go again and again. You can never have enough of that, mashallah. It's got a lot of blessings, mashallah, a lot of Islamic. I, 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 met, I met some people, you know, they mm. came to Istanbul like 20 times. Mashallah, wow. Yeah, because and it's, how, know, much, how much they love, you know, Istanbul. Yeah, yeah. And it's not far from, from the UK, specifically exactly. for us as well. So exactly, people, like so. three and a half hours, four hours, you are here. Yeah, just one flight ticket. No exactly. need to worry about the visa. <laughs> yeah, alhamdulillah. And it's it's a blessing, alhamdulillah, to have that. So that's amazing. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, and yeah. The work that you do it makes it more special, mashallah, because you know a lot of people I speak to they are typical fans like myself. I thought I'm the one, you know, the most one who's proper crazy, uh, and a proper ethical fan. But mashallah, so many people I met the other day. There was a young girl um, who was wearing the ethical flag, <laughs> and when I saw, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I was like, oh, you, you do the tour? She was like, yeah, she already done it. <laughs> <laughs> so, mashallah, some people are already familiar with it. So, just to go back a recap, for the weekdays uh, the for the um, Osman TV set, um, you can they, they can they ha- they can watch the fights um, between the Alps and the Mongols. I think you mentioned Mongols, yeah. Right, but on the weekends they actually get to meet the actors and actresses as well. They see both. They see this still, you know, the fighting Alps and Mongols as yeah. a plus, as a bonus, mm. Saturday and Sunday. And uh, the, they, person they is, the person is coming, you know. So mm-hmm. who is coming? We don't know. So it's a big surprise. So. Yeah. 
Amazing. But they, they are coming. How many people were play in the TV series? You should aware of it. So from 2014 till 2023, it's a long TV series. I can tell you. Yeah. Amazing. But Ertuğrul, Ertuğrul was the best one that I can tell you now. Osman is still good, don't get me wrong, but Ertuğrul was... Because of the Ertuğrul, many yeah. people aware that this, there is an Islamic history. Yeah, absolutely. People absolutely. didn't know yeah. the history of Islam. Yes. And it, this, is also, this is also related with the Turkish people as well, you know. Yeah. Subhanallah, uh, I didn't know either until I watched uh, it. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, because of this gentleman named called Mehmet Bozda, who is the producer, uh-huh. and he wanted to do this, you know, the TV series. Mm. Before this TV series, there was a, another TV series called Yunus Emre. Uh-huh. There was a there was a poet named called Yunus Emre. Okay. So this is the gentleman. They did it only in Ramadan time, which was uh, just like a one month. And mm. people love it. Mm. Later, then he decided to do Ertuğrul TV series. First yeah. season, people didn't understand who they are, what they are doing, why they are fighting, why mm. they are traveling as a tribe, what is going on. It was a little bit confusing for even Turkish people, you know. Mm. I'm not just saying all the foreigner people as well. Mm. And the second season, people noticed that. And we should be very thankful to Netflix. Can mm. I say the name, right? Yeah, yeah, Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should should be very thankful to Netflix as well because they did translation in English. Yeah. So it became worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't do it on purpose, but <laughs> yeah. They helped the Muslim people a lot. It worked thanks well. To, thanks to thanks to Netflix, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, for some reason, I don't know why Netflix. You know, uh, we moved to season five. So when I was watching it, and I'm so glad I actually started watching season five. Like one series or two series, and then it disappeared. So I spoke to Netflix. They're like, no, no, is there? Uh, no, they said no. There's no season five. I was like, no, there is. I started But watching. You, it. you know why? You know why? Because they understood that they make the Muslim people reunited again because of the this TV series, and they mm. took them down. And, but there is, mashallah, no, OsmanOnline.com. Yeah, there, 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 there are a few websites which is like Osman Online, Kai Family, mm. and also YouTube as well. You know, from YouTube, you can watch it. The YouTube one, I think, is not translated. But Osman Online is translated. So I, I know, but most know. most of the people they understood now Turkish language <laughs> <laughs> from the amount of movies we've been watching. I only yeah, managed to understand a few words only so far. Yeah. Most of the people they know Ayvala. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And some of the words are actually because I, uh, I speak Kardesh, Kardesh also, you know, Gardesh, yeah, Kardesh yeah. is a soft words, now. The Arabic words like I think Musaf. Right? Guest. Misafir, yes. Misafir yeah. means guest, yeah. Yeah. So I there are many words, you know, there are many words, you know, in yeah. Urdu language, also in Turkish language. Yeah. Which is great, alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm just going to remind the listeners, um, Brother Hakan, that we have uh, Brother Hakan on the show today, who's an owner of a tourism business in Istanbul, specializing in ertical tours, Osman so um, TV sets or series, Sahaba tours, amongst others as well. So if you have any questions or comments or any specific questions or queries to Brother Hakan, please do send those on 0779481822. Um, so, Brother Hakan, with the um, shows, uh, sorry, not the shows, with the tours that you do, is that something that you do throughout the year or is it just at specific seasons? There is no spe- specific seasons. You know, we do any time, you know. Mm. Uh, whenever people, they want to go to Sahaba tour, Ertuğrul tour and Osman TV set. But for the Ertuğrul tour, is a long day. I told you already. So we try to do once in a week which might be Saturday, because Saturday is a good day for everyone. Mm. Because I noticed that everybody is flying mostly Thursday night. Yeah. And they want to pray in Hagia Sophia or Blue Mosque or Eba Ibn Ansari Mosque mm. for the Juma pray. So Saturday and Sunday is a good option. But of course, you know, if there are more people who wants to go to the tour, we can open the new, new schedule. There is no problem for that one. But mostly for the airport, As a group tour, we mostly do on Saturday. And for Sahaba tour, we can do every day. There is no problem for that one. Mm. And Osman TV set is open seven days. I told you already. So, mm. But uh, who wants to go to Osman TV set, I definitely recommend you go to at the weekend time. Mm-hmm. Weekend is 
best, you know, weekend is the best because you can meet the famous people. Mm. So you can take their pictures, you know, take a picture with them. Mm. Maybe you can chat a little bit, like 10 mm. seconds, 10 seconds, which is still something, you know. Well, I'm assuming if there were like, you know, in, in some of the um, uh, visits, if there were like 3,000 people, how do the actors get to see you? everybody who wants to take a photo with them? Bala Hatun did. I was there. She waited two hours. She waited two hours and she was so, you know, smiling. She's not like, okay, I have to go and everything. She said, mm -hmm. okay, one by one, as a family, as a couple, she was taking picture with them, signing the, her, you know, the pictures as well. Wow. She was a lovely person. Some other, you know, the guests who are coming, they are not that famous, mm -hmm. like Balahatun. So there are less people, like, uh, waiting for them, you know. Yeah. Everybody wants to take a picture, of course, with yeah. the famous people, but... So everyone what, I saw, what I saw, Bala Hatun was the, uh, you know, the with the, all the audience, like 3,000 people. I'm just saying mm -hmm. the number, but there were yeah. many people, I can tell yeah. you now. Inshallah. So everybody will get a chance, yeah, to be able there, to... There is a chance, there is a chance, and <laughs> one of my, you know, the friend who yeah. was with me, he took pictures twice with her. <laughs> so <laughs> there is a very high possibility, well... Definitely, yeah. inshallah, people. He because waited. Someone... He waited one photo, then he waited for the second one. <laughs> wow, he's a proper fan, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is, you know. So I'm assuming, <clears throat> I'm assuming now a lot of people will start booking their flights to Turkey. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. You know, inshallah. Istanbul is lovely. You know, yeah. lots of Ist Islamic history here. Absolutely. I'm not just talking about Istanbul because in Istanbul, we are a Muslim country. On the other hand, we are the most secular country in the world. Whatever you are looking for, you can find it. If yeah. you want Islamic history, there is an Islamic history. If you want like a Jewish history, there is a Jewish history. If you want like a Christian history, there is a Christian history too. So mm -hmm. this yeah. city is more than 4,000 years old. And there were three empires. They were ruling to this beautiful city. Mm. First, Italian people, Roman Empire then Byzantine Empire, then Ottoman Empire, you see. There were also some empires, but we don't, we don't count them because they were only like five, ten years. Mm. As the three big that I just told you, you know, they were ruling this beautiful city. Wow, one of the One of the ancient cities in the world, I can tell you. Oh, definitely, definitely. And not to forget the nature. Oh, my God. Yeah, the nature, nature yeah. Turkey is amazing, mashallah. So the first time I came to Turkey, I didn't know about all of that. And I think I came for five days, and I was like, wow, <laughs> even a month. Five, is five days, not enough, yeah. Five days, no. not enough. Yeah. And I've done actually quite a lot in those, mashallah, five days. I had a friend who introduced me to another friend in Istanbul because she was living in Aydin. And she literally was taking us to so many places in one day. So then she said, for the rest of the days, you guys and explore things properly. So it was amazing, mashallah. It was really, really beautiful. One of the there, days... There, there, are, there are many beautiful cities, you know, in Turkey. In, you see, I'm still seeing Turkey, like Turkey. Yeah? <laughs> like Cappadocia is a wonderful place. Oh. Ephesus is a wonderful place, you know. Yeah. Pamukkale. There is a Konya, for example, for the Mevlana Celaleddin Rumi. Mm. We do also day trip from Istanbul to Konya. Mm. So who doesn't have a time? We just do like a day, day trip from Istanbul to Konya and night time they come back, visit the Shems Tebrizi, Mevlana el Rumi. There are also some, you know, the castles over there for mm. the Aladdin, you know, who was the ruler of the yeah. Selçuk Empire back in that time. Mm. As you know that before the Ottoman Empire, there was a Selçuk Empire also, yeah. you see? Yeah. There's a big, big culture, big, big, you know, the empires mm. for the Muslim people. Alhamdulillah. Amazing. Mashallah, amazing. And coming to the question of what has inspired you and what has motivated you to get into all of that work and, mashallah, amazing and very rewarding of work that you do. Yeah. For this question, I just want to tell you for the Sahabatus, you know, for the Ertuğrul tour and the Osman TV set, it became like, little bit, you know, commercial right now, but for, for the Sahaba tour, mm. I can tell you that I started like about 10 years ago mm. with my Dervish Baba, Dervish Master. I was mm. with him first as a translator. Mm. 
but believe me, <laughs> it wasn't easy to translate him, you know, because mm. every day I was learning new words, new terms, mm. while I was explaining the topics to the guests. I was also learning at the same time. Mm. May God have mercy on him, you know, he passed away mm. two years ago. He was a beautiful man. Mm. And I feel that I have to share those knowledges, what I got from him, you know. Yeah. And what he taught me, I feel that this is necessary to share this information instead of hiding it. Yeah. I I was watching the Darvish Baba all the time, what he's saying, what he's talking. I was going with him to the monasteries in Istanbul Monday and Thursday night. So mm. because of him, I met very nice, beautiful people who are living their Islamic life in mm. Istanbul. Because when people come to Istanbul, they are saying that Hakan, Istanbul is not like that Islamic mm. city. Sometimes I am getting this question, and I told them, in Istanbul, we have many downtowns, you know, like we have 12 downtowns just in Istanbul. What you are seeking, you have to go that area. Mm. If you want if you want another things, you can go another area. But if you want Islamic history, there are million stuff that you can find. It. Example, we have 3,335 masjids just in Istanbul. Sorry, what, what was that? How many? 3,335. Wow. Just in Istanbul. Wow. So, just in Istanbul. Just in Istanbul. I'm not talking Turkey, you know, just in Istanbul. And and the biggest one we just built up like five years ago, it is mm. called Chamlıca Mosque. It's mm. in the Asia site. And can you imagine 63,000 people can pray at the same time for Juma pray. Wow, mashallah. That's so which means this is the biggest mosque in Europe. Wow. But I'm going to tell you that don't ask me Fajr time how many people are going, okay? <laughs> mm. Just just the Juma pray, I can tell you 63,000 people can pray at the same time. This was the dream of our President Erdogan, you know, mm. because we have a beautiful mosque in Europe side, which is called Bulu Mosque, mm. but as a capacity 10,000 people with six minarets, and Erdogan, our president, wanted to make a similar mosque in Asia side as well. So they decided to do in the place called Chamlıca. Mm. So that area, they built up the, this beautiful mosque. It's called Chamlıca Jami, or you can say mosque as well. 63,000 people can pray. Many monasteries in Istanbul, especially mm. most of them in the Fatih district. Mm. And by the way, Fatih is one of the biggest districts you know, in Istanbul, mm. even Grand Bazaar, even Sultan Ahmed, even Eminönü site where the Bosporus boats are going, mm. it is belong to the Fatih area. And mm. since we are mentioning the Fatih, we don't forget the, that beautiful gentleman who got the city of Constantinople, mm -hmm. named called Fatih Sultan Mehmet. Yeah. Normally they were calling him Mehmet II, but later then, Alhamdulillah, after he got the city of Constantinople, 1453, the exact date was 29 of May, 1453, which mm. was Tuesday morning, by the way. Mm. Two days later, which is Thursday morning, he had a beautiful, incredible dream that he saw our Prophet Muhammad in his dream. Mm. And because of the dream, he got this beautiful title called Fatih. Normally, mm. everybody was calling him. Mehmet the second, but after he saw the dream, our problem was saying to him, and uh, thank you very much for your getting to this beautiful city, and you make my Hadith Sharif as a real, because of the, this subject, I want to give you the title, which is called Fatih. Fatih means in English, conqueror. Yeah. That I can tell you. So his name became Fatih Sultan Mehmet. Rest in peace, inshallah, but this gentleman, this sultan, he died very young age when he was only 49 years old, you know. 
Yeah, this gentleman, this sultan, this is my idea, of course, everybody can think the opposite way, but if this sultan was living at least five more years, maybe we were still talking about the Ottoman Empire right now. Mm. This is mm. my idea. But well, of course, everybody can think totally different way, you know? Yeah, we hear you. SubhanAllah. That's amazing, mashallah. And it's so important to know about our history. And, you know, thanks to um, all the, alhamdulillah, the shows that we have out there and the series about Ertugal and Osman as well, mashallah, it has taught us so much. And what you said about Muhammad, al- um, in Arabic, I remember watching a cartoon called Muhammad al Fatih, which is the Muhammad the Com- Yes, and I know the story because I watched that since um, as, a, as a child, which is, of course, shows the importance of having that knowledge and learning about our history since we are children. So for the parents, inshallah, to teach our children the history and the Islamic history, and alhamdulillah, and all, all the um, information out there and the amazing work that you do, inshallah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank yeah, you very much. I, I just want to share those information with the people yeah. so they can, they can get benefit of it, and inshallah, I will get benefit of this as well, you know. Absolutely. After, li- after life, yeah. <laughs> inshallah. And now, inshallah, you get the rewards as well, inshallah, for this Alhamdulillah. amazing... Alhamdulillah. I am trying to do my best because I told you already, I learned everything from my teachers and he learned everything from his teachers. Yeah. He had six teachers. Mm. So, wow. as a silsile, you know, in Arabic also they say silsile, as a line, mm. everybody got the information, so nobody kept them. Mm. in their chest, in their heart, in yeah. their brain. So they are sharing those information with these people. So I guess I'm feeling that this is my duty that I have to share this knowledge with the people yeah. so they can get benefit of it, inshallah. Inshallah. And it has been amazing. So Jazakallah khair. And thank you so much for all you shared. And unfortunately, it has come to the end of the show, but this has been really, really amazing. So thank you. Is it, um, is it finished now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the end. See, I thought it was too oh, long, my. but there you go. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was long, to be honest. Yeah, but No, no. Thanks for you. having me. Thanks for having me. Thank you as well. Nice to hear your voice again. Thank you very much. I hope people will enjoy it. And... People will listen to this one again and again. And who yes. wants to come to Istanbul? They are more than welcome. This is a city where they can learn all the Islamic histories, inshallah. Thank you very much. And thank you to You're our welcome. dear listeners. So, Jazakumullah khair. And inshallah, we'll see you next week. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Why not tune in to our live stream at inspirefm.org and follow and subscribe to our social media platforms at InspireFM Luton.